All right, so in this section, we will cover how we can transfer or exchange the file between Windows and Linux. And to demonstrate this, I will be using a virtual machine running Linux CentOS. And to better understand this setup, please make sure you have watched the previous section where I explained how to set up VirtualBox and the PuTTY terminal. Okay, so this is my terminal which is connected to my virtual machine. Okay, so you can assume this is a, a Linux server which we can access it via terminal. Now there is a file which is present on a Windows machine and if I want to copy this file from Windows to Linux terminal, how we can do it. And for this purpose, we will be using the WinSCP tool, which is a free SFTP, SCP and FTP client tool for Windows. Okay, that allows secure file transfer between your local machine and a remote server. You can get this tool just uh, search on the Google download WinSCP and from their official website WinSCP.net you can download the latest version. Uh, here you can see the download button and just install it. After the installation when you open the WinSCP tool you will see this option. Uh, enter the details of the Linux server. So how to check the IP of the Linux CentOS? There was a command if config. Okay. Here is our IP of virtual machine 192.168.1.8. Okay simply i will enter this okay username okay so in order to transfer the file you must have these details in hand okay so i will click on login accept and yeah that's all after login you will see something like this on the left side you will be having the access to all the files and folder on your windows machine and on the right side you will be having the all the files and folder on Linux uh, machine. Okay. Now I had that my file present in, on the desktop, right? So I can just uh, click on this drop, uh, drop down and select the desktop. Okay. So you can see my file.txt. Thus file is present on the desktop. Now on the right side in which folder I, uh, I want to copy, I can select that. Let's say document. Okay. So right now there is no file. If I check with using the ls command, so there is a download folder. Okay. Now if I use CD documents actually. So and again LS. So there is no file. Okay. So in order to transfer the file, it's very simple. Just drag and drop. Okay. I will just select and drag and drop like this and hit OK. So see the my file is present inside the documents folder. Now in order to check that. Okay. I use again LS command. So you will see the myfile.txt is present on the Linux server. So this is really very handy and very um, easy. Okay, suppose I have created a file on Linux machine. For example, touch Linux file.txt. Okay, very simple. And uh, if I want to transfer that this file to my Windows machine, how can I do this? So right now I can't see that new file. So I just uh, need to click on the refresh. So Linux file again, I can see it. And again, the same process, just drag and drop from right to left on any location. So you can see on my win uh, desktop location, Linux file.txt is present. If I check, so Linux file, see Linux file is there. Okay. So this is how easily you can transfer the file between Linux and Windows.